Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 4 vs 4 on Pegasus Bridge and today I'm going to be using the 91st Luftlander. Now there's actually not many changes to my own division that have really taken place since the last update. The update for the 91st Luftlander involved removing more of their availability towards like artillery and so on but that hasn't really changed my division that much at all. So I still have the one card of uh, the BO Schwim with the 210mm off map and I still have the cards of the 380mm off map as well in phase C. So not much has changed there. Um, I mean nothing has changed. The only thing that I would say has changed is I do have these BMW R75s in my division now. So that's something that we'll be uh, looking at throughout the game. So my teammates have chosen their points which means I am left with the town so we're attacking this from the other side now I believe the last game I played was either with a third Canadian actually no I played the guards armored on this map last over where Thomas Spieler is playing um, whereas now I'm going to be going back to where I played with the third Canadian but from the opposite side with the 91st Luftlander so we'll have to see how we get on we do have a 3rd Canadian and a 101st to go up against, so either of those could be hitting the town. We're going to have to be very much prepared for that. So, I'm most likely going to be picking up some IG-18s at the start, but I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to deal with uh, units close up. So let's try and uh, get some units down, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully Real Steel doesn't disconnect. That wouldn't be ideal. So we'll start off with a couple of Forge Megas. These guys can jump into these buildings. We'll have one jump into that building as well. Just because there's like a gap between it, so if anything comes up the road they've got plenty of times to shoot at stuff. I'm gonna make sure I have a full stream theater there as well to give them the three star veterancy. Aside from that we will probably use some Panzer Abwehr because they are actually pretty fantastic at uh, engaging troops at close range. So I might have one of those just move into that building there. That seems like a nice idea. And we'll have a unit of uh, normal spear troop. I might have them move up to this sort of tree line here. Or maybe, even maybe just stay in the building behind the Falschmjägers. We're going to need some units to cover off this area as well. So a unit of spear troop would be nice to just give me the recon and then aside from that uh, maybe just uh, an MG34 alongside a couple of Versatz Truppen it's probably a good idea so put an MG34 in there and we'll spread out some Versatz Truppen as well Versatz Truppen they can probably push for the next objectives cover off the Falschmjägers try and go for the next house up meanwhile the Versatz can just take up the building so that they can't be occupied by enemy troops. Aside from that, um, pack 40 for the center wouldn't be a bad shout. Not going to leave me with too many points to work with though. We'll move that on down here, unload that pretty early. And I will have maybe a Panzerstreck squad come up and drop down into one of these buildings just in case anything comes up the road earlier on. Aside from that, IG-18 might be a nice shout. I'm going to put that probably in this hedgerow here. And we'll have it move across to the right side. We can get shots into the buildings as we move through the town. We have 35 points left. Just got to pick what I want to spend that on. I could buy a pack 36. I think I'm going to do that. Just in case. We'll push that to the mid with the rest of the stuff and we'll have it in the orchard. So that's us spread out with our forces. Another thing I could probably have used actually is the command infantry for the pack 40. It looks like we have all the people being very sportsman like at the start of this game, which is good to see. Let's have a look at where Vermillion is going with his troops. Looks like he's got a nice spread going on. 
We've sorted our troops out. Thomas Spieler has got his nice and spread and very nice spread from Feelwell on the left side as well. Okay, so looks like we've got a rather competent team. We'll have to see how this goes as we continue into the game. Look at that convoy. It's ridiculous. So my first port of call is going to be buying some command for this pack 40. And then we'll just see what we need based on the initial engagements. Very tempted to bring in this Panzer III, but it really depends. I'm hoping nobody does the uh, AT trick to me, because it is very difficult to deal with, if done correctly. There is a T-30 that's in a decent position. Looks like all of my units managed to get to where they needed to go in time, though. So that's good. We actually made a lot of ground here. Wow. If we can get all the way up to where the tree line is, we're in a very good spot. Yeah, that would be good. Right, let's unload this and just have it walk up. We'll make sure my pants are up there. I might have them move towards the T30, honestly. Move them to this tree line, and then they can just move down where they need to. Okay, cool. Let's move up this pack 36 to cover that road. Rifles are engaging Vermilion's units there. We'll move that unit forward. So let's have the Volschenfuhrer come up. I'm going to bring up uh, probably more Panzerabwehr, honestly. Panzerabwehr are really, really useful in this situation. May as well bring up some more Spear Troop as well. And we'll bring up some more Ersatz to push forwards. Maybe some Volschenjägers as well. I'll have to wait and see. Let's get the Panzerabwehr to move forwards. And uh, we'll have these uh, Fortune Makers move forwards as well. Looks like the Pack 36, it might have a good chance of taking out the T30, honestly. Maybe not. Ooh, a bounce, okay. He's going to be moving away with that. Let's have some Urzats try and push up. We'll see if we can take them on. Gonna have these pants out there stay where they are now. Okay, so this is probably not the best idea. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna push me back. There is a wasp as well. So this is where a panzer out there would be a very nice to have. Because we can use the panzer shrek to hit them hard. We've got a couple more on the way as well. I'm gonna have my BMW come to the mid, and I'm actually going to try and drive that through the mid, see if we can spot anything. We are in range to kill the wasp, so we're going to do that. Nice. Job done. So that's why I've got the Urzat trooping in front. But we're going to have to move these uh, pans up there forwards, because I don't want the mortar to come in. Uh, pack 36 was lost there, unfortunately. Oshimeg is dealing with the M1919 there, that's good. We have our other troops arriving. These are the Panzerabwehr, I think. Move back with those Oshimegers. We'll range of support at that close range. Yeah, let's get out of there. I don't want those to surrender if I don't have to lose them. Okay, never mind. And that's something as well. We could use Volschenfuhrer on this left side. We've got Panzer Abwehr there, actually. Are these Spear Troop then? Yes, they are. Okay. I'll have the Spear Troop sitting there. And I'll have another Volschenjäger unit come up and another Panzer Abwehr. Um, because I do want one for the right side. Let's unload these guys just so that we have some accuracy on the AT gun. And we can take them on. It looks like that's like an M5 gun, possibly. Yes, it is. We should be able to win against that, honestly, with the pack 40. It's just a matter of whether or not we can keep the recon. Because we'll pin that down with one more shot. So maybe it's time for the BMW to shine. Who's going to fire first? They are. Okay. We'll fall back with our pack 40. 
And I'll have the BMW just move into the town because otherwise we're just going to get taken out there. Alright, let's get the IG forwards. That could be used to take on these infantry squads. Uh, Panzer out there getting into a bad spot again. Oh dear, that's not good. Run away! <laughs> Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> so these little scouting pushes aren't really working out too well at the moment. But in general, plus one for our team. I think that's not because of me. That's more because of my teammates. But we're going to bring in some off-map just to help us out. And uh, we can dislodge the enemy units and continue to move forwards. At the moment, I have a lot of troops not really doing too much. The IG-18 should be able to help us out. We're actually up against the uh, second infantry. It's not something I was necessarily prepared for. Like I said at the start, I was more likely to bump into the 101st or the 3rd Canadian, but neither of those showed up. The 3rd Canadian is on the right side of the town, but Vermillion seems to be making short work of them at the moment with the half-track and the Panzer Grenadiers and so on, so that's very nice. That's working out quite well. We'll get line of sight with the Bolshemjägers, anyway. That'll help out. And I'm actually going to bring up uh, some more IGs. Just unload here. With the Bolshemjäger. Don't want to be in line of sight of that. I was just making sure. Cool. The other thing we could do is invest in a mortar to counter their mortar. There is that Strupen. A bit of a bad spot currently. I'm just moving out of line of sight with the Volsjumjägers so I can move them forwards and take on the Ranger support squad. Have these guys jump out, that's Panzer Abwehr. Right, the Ranger support was dealt with. That's good. Okay. So now what we want to do is try and get a... Oh, is that trooping towards the AT gun? That's probably a good idea. We've got IG-18 to take out that M1919. We are killing off the Ranger Assaults very quickly with the Forschenjägers. These guys probably should fall back. Cool. Nice. So we're going to try and make a push through with the uh, Erzats again. Apparently very slow combat going on. Let's get some off map to hit that uh, mortar and the T-30. And we'll move the Schwimmwagen out the way. Let's have that Erzats troop and move back. Not engage two units of what well, is probably Ranger support and something else. Not ideal. We'll let the off-map do the work. And here it looks like the M1919. That's going to be wrecking the Erzatz troop. And I think I need an IG. Another IG would do very nicely. We'll have this one stay here. This one can move to the right and help with the M1919 in the church. Right, there goes the range of mortar anyway. So that's a good start. As we'll have those Erzats move back. Didn't quite take out the ranger leader there. And we did lose those Erzats trooping. I think it's time for the last IG and we'll take it to the mid. Cool. So far so good. Let's have the Schwimmwagen fast move to the right side. There is an M4 on the way. Let's see if we can get the Panzer Strike squad into the building here. We need to get within 250 meter range. Alright, let's get a artillery strike down over here. What can we do? 
how far are we going to push be pushing up? I'm not entirely sure. We're taking on that though. That's nice. Get the IG-18 into cover. We want to move them out of the way as well. Just so that the M4 Sherman comes up. Never mind, it's starting to move back. Okay. So I'm going to probably have to invest in an AT gun, although it's not ideal for taking out the M4. The artillery is coming in now though, so we might be able to make the M4 sh fall back if a shot near lands nearby. I think I'm going to roll out the IG-18, honestly. To get line of sight onto that M1919. Because the M4 shouldn't be in range to hit it. Okay, actually the IG is actually firing at the M4. We need to get the angle onto the M1919 just right, really. At the moment, that's not very good at all. Okay. Either way, IG-18's uh, arriving in the mid, and uh, we will be able to use that if I unload it. We take out that M5 gun. Uh, let's make sure that the IGs are out of the way, because I really don't want them to die. And both of them are just going to have to fall back. Okay, that's rather irritating. Let's smoke these guys off. Just making a smoke wall so that the M7 doesn't get line of sight onto the IG. Cool. And we'll get them into cover. Okay, so just got to be really careful about this. I guess we can move the Volshimegas forwards here. Um, we'll have the uh, Zats move through the orchard as well. This IG and start to move forwards and what we'll do is push this as that's trooping down that tree line we're gonna have the bmw move around as well and yeah that's not going to be an ideal engagement for the ersatz but if i keep the volshenfjeller nearby we can stop them from surrendering i'm actually going to bring up more of my volshenjegers now just to make a push through these tree lines good okay we took out the m5 gun that's great so my motorcycle can come and find out whatever's in this tree line here for us. It looks like the IG walked into the face of the T-30 there. Going to bring up the Stuart 42. And I'm also going to bring up some anti-air now. Okay, so that's a mortar that killed off my unit there and it looks like I might use lose this IG as well God damn. that's not ideal right, that recon should be dead if I get the uh, BMW to help out Out the flamethrowers there nicely. There goes the uh, the recon squad. Cool. Let's get the uh, Erzats to continue down here, and this is why I'm going to use Volshimegas to push forwards. We might be able to jump out here and take on the M7. Transmission damage. Okay, that's going to be a shot from the M7. Hopefully, we can get a shot off. Nice. Okay, good the M7 dealt with. And what we're going to do after this artillery lands is uh, push on through with the Volshimegas. Just a bit of a counter attack there. Probably going to have to fall back with the Volshimegas. Um, I can get the motorcycle into line of sight of the mortar though. That'll be good. I'm actually going to bring up another one of those to the centre. Cool. 
So one Fulsham Jaeger squad go down there, one can follow the air that's trooping to the left side. Alright, made some ranger supports. Surrender. Looks like we can push forward the Fulsham Jaegers onto the rifles as well. If they can get into the building, that'd be good. Um, let's give them some smoke and uh, we'll jump across. Okay, the BMW actually dealt with the mortar quite nicely. Enemy mortar coming in there, hopefully won't pin down. Okay, never mind. Pin down the Fulsham Jaegers, let's have the Ocean Pura squad come forwards just so that we don't let them get surrendered. We have our AA in, in position, so that's good. We have the Urzats continue to run forwards on the left side. Okay, so this is the most fantastic thing about the BMWs, is they actually influence the front line. You can see we're causing a massive hole on this right center area. We're going to have the Stur 42 engage the T30. Yes, it's a HE, but. Um, it will do the job. Make sure we have some more reinforcements coming down. Just so that we can take control of the town there. Might even have the uh, the Flak 36 move forwards and help out with this lot. The MW was actually killed off. We'll just have another one move that way. Cool. I'm just going to have one run across. And this Fulsham Jaeger can stay here. I might even have it attack move up to the right side. Have some Urzats help out there as well. And these Fulsham Jaegers can come forwards. May as well keep these Fulsham Fjöle giving these guys the three stars. Right, and the ideal here is that the T-30 doesn't engage the... Bolshim Jaeger. Great. There we go. Shift 42 did its job. Have some Bolshim Jaegers move forwards here now. Yeah, these guys are going down the wrong road, so we'll just have them jump out into buildings. Next to our teammate, we'll have some Fulsham Jaegers move to here with some more Urzats, and we'll also bring up some more AT because we are going to need AT to deal with the reinforcing tanks that come into the town to deal with the Shur 42. So, Fulsham Jaegers are in good hands here. Let's move these Fulsham Jaegers to the right to help with these ones. And we'll have the Fulsham Fjellig go over there as well because we'll move forwards this pack 40. And have the Fulsham Führer in the middle. Give those guys better and see. Right. So these guys should probably fall back. And I'm very tempted to bring in the artillery now. Yeah, we'll bring in some long range artillery. And we'll bring in another Stuff 42. Brilliant. Let's get this IG-18 into line of sight here, hopefully. And um, this off-map artillery can just go back towards the spawn. That's the word I was looking for. I think my BMW is being pinned down here. Get them out of range of the M8. If we can. I might just move back to Stuart 42 here. Have a uh, Zats troop and move forwards. They can just run forwards. And what I want to do here is probably get the Panzer Abwehr into 100 meter range of the rifles.
kill them off very quickly with those. On the backboard, he's actually hitting the M4A1 there. That is fantastic. Boston Jaeger squad gone down. Speed Troop gone down. The M8 is pushing up. And this is why I was bringing in some more AT guns. Um, let's make sure that it all actually comes to the front line because it's all just building up down here. That Falschmeiger squad is going to have to fall back. Unload that guy. Unload this guy. Oh, that's actually... The artillery. <laughs> I don't know why it had an AT symbol. One of these must be an artillery as well. Yeah, that well confused me. Oh well. Looks like the Ol has surrendered. Looks like that's job done. Okay, so we may as well hit those Bedford trucks at the back there. Obviously something hasn't been uploaded, so we'll take advantage of that. Uh, Pack 38 is still pinned down here. This one needs to move up and we'll bring up some more of those. Actually, let's bring up the Pack 40s. The Stur 42 can move to the right side. The yeah, that's just going to suicide run forwards. Oshimegas can actually do the damage. Cool. Let's have the Oshimegas move forwards now. And that bear can come up. And with the spear troop, spear troop can. Move to the far right side, make sure the Falsham Killer are continuing to provide veterancy. Let's get the IG-18 to move up and the mortar. Real Steel has now surrendered as well. Not entirely sure where he was trying to hold on. Looks like on the far left, but Thomas Spiel has pushed through entirely. We've got uh, Feelwell doing very well on the far left flank. Really good job to those guys. We met eventually managed to break through in the town. Relied on us kind of moving into phase B. But uh, there we go. Right, let's bring up these AT-8s. And uh, they can help us finish things off. Only two minutes left in the game until victory. This is AI now. Kind of scared what they're going to throw at us, but we should be okay. Got plenty of stuff to deal with them. Just got to make sure that I keep my command in range. Okay, cool. Bring up those AT guns. Probably just going to push them right through the middle area here because they're pushing us with M8s. And the M4A1, we can probably push across the open as well. Let's just try and make ground across the board. With everything we have left over. Cool. Mosquito is going to come in. That's actually going to bomb some of my potion Jaegers. Didn't make too much of a difference. To what was already happening. Just dropping off a couple of pack 40s here. Just so that we can take on the enemy armor. Meanwhile, the Stur can just hit all the infantry targets it likes. 
probably should use some command with those as well. So we'll bring that up and not sure what else I want to use. But just one two nines maybe with some air support. So a JU87 from Fieldwell is coming in to take on the M4A1. We'll most likely get that shot. Yeah, it did. Easy peasy. Some more off-map coming in on top of us. That's not very nice. I'm sure that knows that's troop and gets into the building there. And that's job done. There we have it. 24 minutes and 22 seconds. Victory for the 91st Luftlander. Unfortunately, I feel like our team dramatically outclassed theirs in terms of skill. Feel well, and Thomas Spieler. I know that Thomas Spieler plays very well and feel well. I'm pr pretty sure I played with him before and he did well in the past. So, yeah, 2,895 kills to 890 losses for feel well. And Thomas Spieler, 2,045 kills to 800 losses. Myself, only 1,375 kills to 715 losses. I think we had a pretty slow start at that one. But in general, it worked out in the end. We managed to push through uh, the town there quite nicely towards the 2nd Infantry. I just didn't really expect to come up against the 2nd Infantry. I think if it was like the 101st, we would have had a much different kind of engagement with the 2nd Infantry. They played back quite a lot and almost used the, the Ranger supports very like defensively, which made it hard to like push forwards onto them. I guess I could have used Smoke and so on, but Smoke doesn't really work well with Volschmiegers, which is the main issue with the 91st Luftlander. But there you have it. Kills for one full Shimega squad did very well. Pack 40 there. That was in the mid. Took out a 6 pounder M4A1. A couple of M4A1s there. Stiff 42 came in. Took out the T30. We did kill quite a few infantry squads. Maybe that's just why our kill count was so low because we were relying on a lot of infantry kills more than anything. But still, I think that was a pretty solid game. Quite a nice look at the 91st Luftlander. I don't really think they've been changed too much uh, in terms of balancing per se. I think they're still pretty decent. Same as they were before. Those little bikes are actually pretty fun to use. Use this one to take out the mortar there. Um, so little flanking attempts like that and poking holes in the front line is very easy to do with a fast unit like that and that's interesting to see. Might try and do that more in the future. But in the meantime, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.